Dino Delio is doing the makeup. How are you? I love this. We're going to talk about makeup mixology. So you can be a little scientist at home. You might have all of these products right now, but mm -hmm. you might not know how they can actually work for you and make things a little bit easier. Bump up your looks by Thank mixing her. things together. And also, too, right, there's so many new products coming out on the market every day mm -hmm. now that you wonder if what you have is good enough. Yeah. Right? Or do I need to have that other thing? So you probably have all of these things, and I'm going to show you how to make those expensive products. <laughs> good. So yeah, the first one is home. concealer. So we all have a good concealer, but what you can do now is you can actually add a little bit of light reflection into your concealer. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is, the first thing I want to talk about is your hand. This is your mixing palette. This is what makeup artists always use to test and mix and everything. The great thing about it, it super cleans easily, but the yeah. heat of your hand helps to melt the product. So we're working with all wet and creamy products today. Yep. So this is a great palette when you're doing that. That's why artists are, con you guys are constantly washing your hands. Always, this always. This is your workspace. That's our workspace. And also we're washing them just to not put it on other people. Sometimes yeah. it happens, you know, you get on their clothes. That's true. So what you're going to do is take a little bit of your concealer. You can use a, this is like a palette knife that you, us makeup artists use, but you can use like a, a, a butter knife or a toothpick even. Okay, so what you're going to do you is got. take a little bit of cream of the concealer. Then I'm taking, this is like an illuminating pen. It's like illuminating cream, but it's in a pen form. So what you're going to do okay. is you're going to put that on next to it. And you're going to give out. it a couple, couple drops. These things are always tricky. Sometimes you need a lot of clicks to make. There we oh, go. Oh, there you okay? go. Then mix it. So you're going to mix it on your hand. You're going to see how nice and creamy it becomes. And see how it's got that nice light reflection. And it that does. reflects light makes us look younger. Right. Okay? Lights and just who bouncing. doesn't? I wish I could wear it, but I look so like, like I'm going to a disco. For <laughs> Even though I love my disco. Right? <laughs> so, so you that can just mix that yep. in that bumps and bumps up your on. concealer completely. And you get a little, a little bit of that uh, light reflection. Nice. Now, so everyone has a foundation, but sometimes in the summertime you want to switch to a tinted moisturizer. Right. So Lighter. make your own. It's all basically equal parts. You're going to take a squirt or two, however many squirts you need for your foundation. Uh -huh. Then you're going to take equal amounts of a moisturizer. Okay. Whatever, whatever moisturizer? Whatever, whatever you whatever love. Whatever you use on your face already. Okay. And then mix those together. And you get a really very sheer mm -hmm. and lighter, your tinted moisturizer, which everyone loves to switch to in the summer months. Nice and lightweight because yes. you do not need your makeup melting down no, your face in the no. hot sun. This is going to make no. you feel like you're not wearing a mask. And it's much, much lighter and on, the weight, on the weight side as well. Right. Now, on the same subject as foundations, we also can add illumination to foundation. Illumination okay. to foundation. I like it. <laughs> poet. So what you do, is this, this is just a, a, an average foundation that doesn't give a lot of reflection is just you know kind of a natural finish you can see okay and then to add it just like we did with the concealer you're gonna add some shine. I'm gonna add a little bit of illuminator this one is um, for the face it's okay. the primer so you can use prime anything that has illumination and look how that adds a beautiful reflection, a again, to make us young. And it's okay that you're putting that everywhere on your face, right? Because your yeah. foundation you're using for full yeah. coverage, it's yeah. okay if you've got that illumination The only one, one on. tip I want to say is when you wear reflection, if you're a little fuller in the face on the bottom, Maybe don't. don't do it under the cheekbone to the jawline. Got it. Okay, because otherwise if you do it there, the light reflects and it can make it look bigger. Right. Remember, light reflection is highlight. Yes. So wherever you put it is going to amplify. Got it. We have time for another one? Yeah, yeah, right let's on. Do it. So cream blush, we love cream blush, yes. but sometimes we get a color. Summer comes along, we got a bit of a tan. It's not bright enough. Okay. So all you want to do, you can just do it all with your fingers. So take your cream blush first, mm -hmm. put it on your hand palette, put a bit of more than you think you need. Okay. Then I'm going to take this sort of poppy pink, and I'm going to add a little You're bit. You're going to take your lipstick. Yes. And bump up your brush. Exactly. Mix that in. Yeah. Maybe you think, oh, it's a bit too bright. Add more of the light, and look at you've created a custom. Oh, blush and then you wear that with your lipstick and you are a hot tootsie. <gasps> what? That is so good. Okay. That is great. There's so many times when uh, makeup artists take out colors and you think that is way too much. If you're the one that's responsible for making the mix, yes. you can make it as bright or as not bright as you want it. When I see clients and I do lessons, this is what I'll do. I'll say, what do you think of that color? Oh, it's too bright. Ah! So I start to show them and how to temper it down. On. Or then you got those girls that want it loud, Why right? Not? And I said, just, we're just going to put fun. this all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's summer. Why not? Yeah. We can do another one. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of you may have these facial mists, which have multiple purposes. It can either hydrate your skin. You can use it after makeup to set your makeup. Yeah. But it's also really good, too, is most eyeshadows can be used wet. When you wet an eyeshadow, it becomes more intense, mm -hmm. and it lasts longer on your eyes. Oh, okay. So what you do is you're going to take your mister. Yeah. 
You're gonna mist your brush. You're gonna pick up your eyeshadow. And look how intense oh, wow. that is. That's good, so and you're not having to go into the no, eyeshadow five how fast billion was, times exactly. to get that intensity. This is a really good trick to a cheap eye makeup. Yeah. You know when you right. put it on and go, where'd it go? <laughs> right? <laughs> Wet it. It's like paint. Think of water paint, water, um, paint in school. Right. That's yeah, basically the same premise. Yeah, I love premise. that. There's one thing you need to know always, though, when it comes to mixing your sunscreen uh, into products. Yes. You're saying don't do it. No. You have to. This is the only exception, because if you start mixing something into your sunscreen, you're lowering the protection of your sunscreen. Okay. You're diluting it. So Good if it's a 30, know. you're not going to get 30. You're going to maybe get 20 or 15. Uh -huh. The more of whatever you mix into it is going to dilute it and take away the protection factor. Thank you for that advice. You're welcome. You're We've done welcome. A little science on the show. <laughs> I love it.